What is good, everybody? Welcome back to Daily Exotics Colorado. I'm Sean Marvel, your host. Um, so, I know it's been a long time since I've done a video, over a month, and I do apologize. We will get into that here in just a little bit. I will, I, I'm hoping the lighting isn't too bad. I'm in my car right now, and it's not even 6 in the morning yet. So, but what I wanted to share with you guys, well, we'll get into why I've been gone for a month after I said I was going to be all consistent. We were at the goals. Let me just start with, I guess, for those, uh, happy late Christmas to everyone. Happy late New Year. It's almost February. Oh, February. Yeah. So, um, but happy all of that to you guys. Um, and then um, going into a little bit of detail, not much right now. We are going to do a whole like multi-part series about what actually has gone down over the last month. But for right now, all I'm going to tell you guys is jail, 0 out of 10, I don't recommend. Try to stay out of it if you can. If not, I hope that you guys will watch my jail equals zero out of 10 multi-part series that is going to have to, that is going to explain my experience in jail. And I hope that you guys can learn from that or possibly be able to take some good advice from it. If, um, but we have an interview. I've been out since, uh, January 21st, just so you guys know, it is the 24th, um, I am going to upload a video, this video today, just because it's been, you know, it's, you know, I haven't got it to you guys and I need to get it to you out. Um, there is going to be a lot more to come. Um, we're still keeping the car for now, obviously, because that's actually what I have to live in right now, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Something I do want to share. So here are my connection pipes. One of them, at least. The other one's right back here as well. I don't know if you can see that, guys. But I've got the connection pipes. I do have the headers as well, but they're being stored somewhere else for the time being. Um, just because I didn't have enough room in my car, along with everything else I had to grab that I'm having to stuck stick by living in for the time being. We are going to get an apartment. And I just want to, you know, right now I just want to really shout out to um, Stradman. I'm going to tag Stradman down below. I know he's probably not going to see this video anytime soon. But I, I'm in a situation right now. I'm living in my car. I'm still trying to make YouTube work. I'm trying to make other things work. I have an interview today. We're living in Colorado. I'm living in a Mustang at the age of 21. Not how I thought my life was going to be. But I do have to look, and I look at where Stradman is at, and he is such a big influence. I know that a lot of my stuff has been based very closely around Daily Driven Exotics. And don't get me wrong, I still love those guys, and they've had their struggles. But they, I feel like Stradman is so much more real and upfront about his problems. That's why I want to tell you guys this. But I don't want it to mess with the channel, so I want to make it a separate series that we'll do. Um, like, a, it'll be a two video a week thing instead of my one video, just so that part of it has to do with my experience in jail, and just so that you guys know, it's gonna incorporate everything I'm going through with jail, how it made me feel, the events leading up to it, where it's going, what's going on with court, so I've, I've figured out about five parts right now, it could be more, because like I said, said it's going to include court results so next court is march 4th um so we got a about a month um I, like i said again i'm living in my car um that being said i have an interview carmax at noon today it is 5 49 in the morning and it's 28 degrees outside the mustang still has toyos on it so let me get you guys a little bit of view on that. This is my windshield. I know it's not super visible. Let me see if I can get it to focus a little bit more. Maybe turn down the... Yeah, it's not super visible. 
Um, as you guys can see though, adjusting the exposure here, Um, you've got snow on the ground, and it is snowing. Um, I'm trying to see if you, there you go. You can see it up by the light up there by that gas station. You kind of see it coming down. So, that's my status for the day, guys. We got to drive my not brand new Toil R888Rs on the Mustang that are running closer to slicks at this point. We're running about 420 wheel horsepower in the car. Um, no insurance, might I add. Um, that's temporary, so for any of you officers that are out there maybe watching my videos, there is going to be insurance, but right now, you know, I don't, I, you know, how can you get insurance if you don't have any job? You know, I know it's a law. You shouldn't be driving. I have to be extra cautious with this car in general. So, you know, as soon as I can, I will be getting insurance. Please don't pull me over for it, if, if, if any of you know me. I hope you don't, but I try to stay out of trouble as much as I can. I don't need something else going on right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're working on it. It's a long situation, but it should. I'll have it before in, like, a couple weeks if everything goes well. Um, yeah, so story, living in car, um, we got headers, those are going to be a minute to get installed, because it's looking like I'm going to be doing it myself, so, nobody's commented or anything on this, but if, please, 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 somebody, if you know somebody in Colorado, someone who has a lift, because I don't have a lift anymore, or if you guys know somebody, a shop, that will install catless headers, Please comment down below, like, so that I can do that, um, get them in, because my cats are destroyed, they're melted like crazy. Um, the only other thing I want to tell you guys real quickly, I and I, I feel bad because I was saying something and I went completely went off topic, but I, like I said, I wanted to really give a shout out to Stradman. Um, to me, I'm kind of in a situation that he was in a long time ago. Granted, he wasn't in Colorado. I believe he actually went to California for this. But I do, I may, may have still been in Utah. I don't re recall for sure. But I do remember that, you know, he lost his dad. Of course, I lost mine a year ago, or actually two years ago, March of 2020. And he lost his, and that was hard for him. For me, I wasn't close with my dad, but it still hit me pretty hard. But prior to that, before all his success, you know, he was looking, he was living in an Audi TT. I don't know if any of you have seen or sat in an Audi TT, but the space that I have in my car, I think actually is probably like almost double that of an Audi TT, like the back seat wise, all that trunk space. So... The fact he was living in there and he was sitting in a McDonald's and he was moving back and forth parking places. Well, I'm sitting at a King Supers. That's my means of like where I'm staying and I stay near all the employ other employees at work. Um, funny story though. So for those of you who see this little white car, oh, sorry guys, right over here. Um, yeah, I'm sitting right here. Uh, trying to find an apartment, do some research, and naturally right in front of me, all of a sudden three cops pull in and surround the car, and then they keep looking at me, and I'm like, please don't say anything. Naturally, and surprisingly enough, they didn't care I was here. I, I was I figured at most they might tell me just to leave, if nothing else, but, um, you know, granted the situation, I don't think they'd be too, you know, hard about it, um, but I don't know. Honestly, it's Parker, um, so there's not a... You never know. Um, yeah, so got a chance to go home yesterday. I didn't have my car until yesterday afternoon at 2, two o'clock. I was able to go get my car, and I had 15 minutes to get my shit. Excuse my French, but I had, like I said, I legit had 15 minutes to grab all my stuff. However, thank you. I, I, I got to show you guys the cop car that this guy was in. It was like you would not have thought. I didn't think it was a cop car at first. 
but I wasn't paying that much attention either. I was just waiting for a Douglas County Sheriff car to pull in. Um, yes, it was Douglas County Sheriff. I do have to say, though, if you're going to get in trouble in Colorado and go to jail, your best bet is probably hit, hit up Douglas County or try to get in trouble in Douglas County if you plan on going to jail. Being the seventh richest county in the United States, it's not all that bad. It does kind of suck, especially with all the new Omicron, Omicron, I don't know. I don't even want to say COVID because I'm worried about the ads, you know. Um, but all of that going on, you know, it makes it very difficult um, and stress, 10 times more stressful. But yeah, so that's our status right now. I was able to get quite a bit of stuff out. Um, the only issue is I'm behind on car payments. Um <laughs> Funny enough, guess what I went to do? So I went to go get me, um, um, I was meant to grab my trumpet on the way out so I could sell it, right? I forgot the trumpet and I could have probably sold it for 1500 or two grand. It was a cannonball. Oh, it's, it's such a nice trumpet and I hate to get rid of it, but that was my goal. Um, I don't have hardly anything that I can sell. So with that in mind, um, I get there and then he's like, there's a couple notices on the door for you. I'm like, oh, nice. He's like, yeah, so you're getting evicted. So he's like, you need to make sure and get to the court as soon as you can and let them know, um, and get another civil assist. I'm like, cool. So I've got to work first cause I have to pay for a civil assist, figure out how long it's going to take me. And more than likely, I'm going to have to probably grab a U-Haul um, as well so I can fit everything in and try to find out on a storage unit so I can move everything to a storage unit for the meantime because that's what, you know, I got 20 years worth of stuff there. There's stuff that is actually missing as far as I'm aware because it up and disappeared. I don't know how or why, but there's a lot that disappeared up there. Um, I don't know where it went. But I'm hoping that doesn't cause more legal issues because, it, it, you know, they weren't supposed to touch anything and they'd gone into my room and started packing stuff for me, which I didn't complain about because honestly that made it 10 times easier. I was able to get a lot more stuff out. Um, unfortunately though, um, yeah, that's the status. So the other thing I want to tell you guys too, if you guys want to help me out, Watch the videos, go buy some merch. Like, if you guys can help me out, um, because I don't, I know I've got $40 I gotta pay. I don't know how much more on top of that, but I, if you got, please, 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 guys, go buy some merch. It would really help. Like, honestly, just if you can buy one product, it can be the cheapest product on the site. I don't recall what that is. I think it's like a $14.99 or a $19.99. Um, it's the cheapest thing. If you guys could go on there and buy something, one item, um, I will do something to give back to you guys as soon as I can, but that would help out so much because I need to, you know, I've got things that need to get paid. And if you can't do that, go check my Facebook profile, uh, marketplace. It's going to be under, uh, Sean Marvel. Um, and I think it's got a photo of me on there. I don't remember what exactly my profile has. I'm not a big Facebook. I use it to sell stuff. There is going to be four items. There's like a um, police light slash emergency signal lights. I'm going to have my Razer keyboard on there. So if any of you like gaming keyboards and you need one, it's a Razer Huntsman Elite. And it's going for a really good price. And it all it needs, you could honestly just clean it and look brand new. I don't have the stuff to clean it, but all it is is a little bit of dirty. It's a little dirty, but it works 100% fine. Excuse me, guys. Um, anyways, there's going to be a cash counter, and then one of those things that, like, it's got the, like, it sees all. It's got a UV light and a white light, so you can see the watermarks and bills as well as the um, infrared lights as well. Oh, that is such a sketch thing. I gotta show you guys this. This, oh, you can't even hardly see it. So the tow truck, this uh, plow guy, he's going between all the handicap signs and he's barely got like, he's got like, a few inches on each side. Not a lot of room, that's pretty crazy. 
to me. I've never watched him do that. Uh, cause he's sanding down, sanding everything for the snow. Cause indeed it is chosen to stick. So we're gonna take it easy. We're gonna give ourselves plenty of time. Uh, here in a minute, I've gotta go into King Supers, steal, uh, do some, get some things done real quick. And then I'll be back out. Um, I got 85 miles still empty. I would have liked to a DoorDash because I thought, oh, it's not gonna snow actually. So I would have been DoorDash. But I will DoorDash, you know, tomorrow, whenever. I'm hoping I get hired. So, um, yeah. But we've got more videos coming. I apologize. My arm is getting really tired trying to hold my phone right now and it's messing with my thumb. Um, but yeah. Yes, it is a mess in the back. You guys should see my trunk. But w this is actually kind of cleaned up compared to what it was. So, um, bright side, I do have my computer. I just don't have a lot of ways to get it charged constantly. And I love the Razer computer. It's amazing. But battery life... I might have to, I might actually just turn off the lighting on it or set my lighting to a solid color for the keyboard because it, like my battery on it, I, I barely get two hours of use out of that laptop. It sucks for that. I have, however, I do want to get a MacBook Pro, but that's, you know, that's going to be a while. We've got more priorities. We've got, you know, getting an apartment, getting court costs all paid for. But like I said, please, guys, don't skip the ads. If you guys could watch through the ads, I know it sucks, but, you know, there's a lot of ads. If you guys could please watch through the ads, that would help out dramatically. And if you guys could just go, like, pick up one thing of merch, or if there's no merch that you guys like, if you guys would please, like, go check my Facebook and see if you're interested in any of those items I said on there, that'd be great as well. Um... Yeah, I think King Supers might just be opening, so I'm going to wait a little bit longer, probably about 6.30, and then I might go in, um, take care of some things. Um, and then I'm probably, honestly, once I get those taken care of, I'm going to head over to go um, to CarMax for my interview while I still, so I can get my car there and won't have as much traffic. It is 6 in the morning, so there's going to be traffic from people trying to get to work and going in early. Hopefully not too bad, but I want to do it before the roads get too bad, especially as it's 28 degrees right now. So everything's kind of sticking, and it's going to get slick here pretty quick. Um, but yeah, for all of you guys that have supported me and I've got still most, I don't even think I lost a whole bunch of subscribers. I think I lost 11 over the last month. Thank you for those of you who did stick around. I'm so grateful for you guys. You guys are awesome. You know, some, I like to give you guys credit because without you guys, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now, but I really do appreciate everything you guys do. You're you know, watching the videos helps out so much and just being able to, you know, I've got a lot of you are so amazing, even though, you know, I don't get a whole lot of interaction with the videos. I have to say, though, a lot of you have stuck around and I really appreciate you guys sticking around. Um, I apologize that I haven't looked at the camera a whole lot. I'm kind of still my senses are really heightened right now. And then I'm also really just kind of watching what's going on with the road and plows and everyone coming around and stuff um so i'm just gonna pause the video for now let you guys know kind of where the interview went and how the roads are um it's not gonna be fun i will try and get you guys a cold start from the outside um i had to turn the car off because it was wasting too much gas um but i will um as soon as i like go inside and king supers and then when i come back out that's i'll do a little startup for you guys from there um but yeah so i appreciate it guys um and i'll see you guys here in just a bit with a cold start um i know i'm not starting the video off with it but i will get that in just so you guys can have a cold start especially at 28 degrees um you guys should have heard it the battery was dead and when i started got it the car jump started which took two jumper cables car was not running good at all like my whole car was shaking because the cats had got so clogged 
the it the car sounded legit cammed and it was shaking the car like rocking it side to side because of it was the uh melting inside the cats because of not driving it and it hadn't been turned on at all in 30 day over 30 days almost 35 days i think it was 34 at the time or no 35 or 36 days since then it just was like they had probably sealed a bit so it was having trouble getting uh airflow through and it was pushing it back and forth in there and it was just shaking the car i could be wrong but that's my guess um but again i appreciate everything you guys have done um just stay tuned i've got a bunch of videos coming for you guys some more car stuff I will say, depending on how the roads are and how risky I feel like I want to be, later on today, we might, you know, throw out some donuts. But, I, you know, I don't want to risk crashing the car, especially it's not, not with the tires I have and then not having any insurance. So we, we, we're going to be very careful. It's very... It's not likely, but it is a possibility I might do that for you guys. Um, but we'll see. So I'll see you guys in just a bit. Um, peace out for now. Alrighty, everyone. I know that the casts are screwed up. I want to show you guys the cold start. It shouldn't be cold. Although I did have the car started for a while, but let's see what we can get out of this. Actually, it wasn't too bad. But, yeah. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be one heck of a drive to um with these tires and things. Yeah, you guys can see. This is not gonna be fun. Like it's gonna be <laughs> It's like I'm saying it's gonna be fun because it's really not gonna be fun, you know. Um definitely just gonna keep it in normal mode. I don't think we're go going with the no traction idea of in um track mode like normal. So I think we're gonna stick it out in normal mode today. You guys, what do you guys think? Good to hear. Say hello to Parker PD over here. Me having drag radials, not a good look. So um, I'm just letting the car heat up. Um, he is stopped, you can see him back there. I don't intend on leaving. All right, give me a minute guys, cause I'm trying to defrost my rear window. Um, no, but in Colorado, we basically have a law during the winter. If you don't have the proper tread depth, uh, they can pull you over. So I got to wait for him to leave. I was just about to head to CarMax and he decided he wanted to pull in and yeah. Uh, so we, I got to wait just in case till he is either out of sight, out of mind or until he like make sure he actually leaves especially not having insurance just so he doesn't you know show up and just doesn't pull me over for tires and then find out more than i need him to find out so it doesn't even look like he's got the ldpr system that reads license plates on his car like the cameras around the light bar on the roof so he's over there though but because of that, it makes, uh, he, he's probably checking. Um, the other thing is, like I said earlier, guys, the car that's right there had issues and cops were all around it last night. But, um, yeah. Probably shouldn't leave just yet until he's left. And now, of course, he's hiding over behind those cars over there. He's like probably about there or behind those. So yeah, he's gonna make this fun. Yeah, he's just gonna sit over there. He's probably hoping I leave and I'm not gonna leave just yet. That's the only thing about staying at this King Supers. The police come through all the time. So I'm just making sure, you know, I want him to leave first cause you know, it's not, as it is, it's not safe that I'm driving the car and now he's gonna, he could, he could very easily pull me over and he probably would, especially if I slid it all. Um, granted, I could say I pretty much worked overnight and I just got off and, you know, it wasn't that, it was decently nice yesterday, but 
you know, if I... That's, that's kind of a risky game, whether or not he wants to verify that I work here or not, but... I don't think he would verify that, honestly. I don't think he would try to, but you never know. I don't know where he's at right now. I think he's still over there, but I don't know because I haven't seen him for a minute and I don't even want to like move the car at all. So I'm waiting for me to move the car and him to suddenly like just turn his lights on and come out. out. Like the car's on, but I didn't even realize I didn't have my lights turned on, so I gotta turn those on. But I just have it, you know, I've got it running right now so it's heating up and defrosting my windows. I have a weird feeling he's gonna sit there for like an hour or something and I'm gonna have to wait for him just to leave. Fun. Well, like I said, we'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know. Obviously, if I get pulled over, we're filming it. I don't think we will. Um, the only way we're getting pulled over is in an accident and we're not getting in an accident. I know how to deal these cars pretty well but I'm also not going down Parker Road right back here. I'm not going down the main road. I'm gonna take kind of the back way because, well, going down Parker Road with all the other idiots and, you know, I, I know what I'm doing with this car, but I've, I've never driven a Mustang with drag, with Toyos in the winter that aren't a winter tire, they're a drag tire, and I've never once driven in this kind of condition. I have driven the car in like wet conditions in the rain and in, in it's starting to snow or in the aftermath of snow when I was able to get my car out, but I've never, this would be about the worst I think I've driven in. So I definitely, if I'm gonna test my luck on it, I don't wanna test my luck as we're pulling out. Um, problem being, I do have an interview, but I'm also concerned that that if I can't hardly get out of here, that I'm just gonna have to call CarMax and cancel the interview for today and see if we can reset it up just because the way the roads are, I don't just tell them I don't feel safe driving in this with the, I don't even wanna tell them with the given vehicle just because they might, that's probably not gonna go very well because then that leads to unreliability and I wanna be reliable for them. But at the same token, yeah, it's this is gonna be fun. I may have to honestly just cancel my interview, but I've got a while still. I have till noon. So if that cop, I, I don't think the cop's going to sit here for, from what is now almost 7 o'clock. I don't think he's going to sit here until noon. That would be obnoxious if he did, but I'm sure he's got something better to do. I mean, it is Parker, so maybe not, but. I'll let you guys know what happens. See you guys in a bit. Peace. So, the reason I say he's a dick, there's three cars there, and he circled back this way, then went up that way, and then he's parked. I can't see him, but he's hiding behind those three vehicles over there. And I don't even want to, like, pull the car forward a space. Because I'm like, as soon as I pull it forward, I think he's going to try and light me up or something just for trying to pull out the other or he could be here just keeping an eye on this car but i doubt it because he's been here for like 10 minutes already so yeah they're just gonna wait for him to leave especially in case like the car slides some i'm not putting it in track mode it's staying right here in normal and i'll drive with my paddles for sure but yeah that should be fun i've driven in these kind of conditions no I have driven with snow and wet, but I've never driven drag radials in this kind of, like, this is bad. I also feel like I have a rash on my neck and I don't know where it came from. Although on the bright side, hold on. That's the second Challenger I've seen. Although his might could be an all wheel drive V6. There's also a Camaro that's a V6 over there. So, what's good, everyone? Um, I'm really tired, so I apologize if I'm kind of seem like laggy right now or what. I don't know why I use the word laggy of everything. You guys know how it is. Um, 
Yeah, so it's a, um, made it to the interview safely and everything. We're back at King Supers. Um, it's now 5.14 at night, so it's been a long day. Um, haven't really slept. I tried to sleep earlier. The snow got pretty bad, but the roads aren't too bad. It's, it's a little bit, it's definitely not still pretty sketch, especially with this car. Um, but it, it could be worse, not gonna lie. Um... So on that note though guys, um, this is probably just going to be where the video ends for the day, for right now at least. Um, I spent most of the day with my girl, um, so we've been watching a movie uh, for the most part for the day. If you guys haven't seen it after, uh, go, each of you guys should just watch it, it's a good movie. There's three actual like movies for it, um, there's After, After We Collide, and After We Fell. It's a good movie honestly. Um, I like it at least. Um, it's on Netflix, but yeah, we. It's been kind of a just relaxed day. Um, but yeah, um, there's not too much else to say. The interview went well, I think. Um, I should find out in about a week. But other than that, um, mainly just probably won't be doing a lot in the way of like doing donuts and drifting just because with the, how loud this car is and it um being still really slick it's too dangerous and on top of that i can't get in any trouble and i don't really want to end up in any more trouble got enough going on so goal is to try to stay out of trouble but yeah so um make sure you guys like comment and if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below. And then make sure you also hit the bell icon to get notified of the videos, including that multi-part series about everything that's been going on. Um, I apologize that it's a little bit later in the day that this is going out. But um, I'm going to make sure I get this uploaded today. And yeah, um, make sure you guys also go down in the description. Go check out dailyexoticscolorado.com. And that's where you're going to be able to get uh, my merch. Um, like I said, if you guys can just buy like one thing of merch, I'd be amazing. I appreciate it. It doesn't have to be anything great. But, you know, if you live in Colorado and you're watching, you can go on. Please go buy a hoodie. The hoodies, trust me, they are very warm. They're very good for this. But those hoodies also tend to be... Um, they're also good when it's decently warm out. Like they also they're lightweight, but they're also very warm. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it, people are out like crazy right now, trying to stock up. We got a uh, bobcat plowing. We got another plow. They've got they've got like three plows here at the King Supers going through. But yeah, so there's the roads. Like I said, the roads aren't too bad, but we got a little bit of sleet, so it's very icy now, and it's been cold all day. It's been I haven't seen it go above 30, honestly. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all for today, guys. Um, I will see you guys probably on Thursday or Friday with a video describing about everything that's kind of gone on. But this is going to be part one of the series of, you know, what I've been going through over the last month and everything and the story leading up to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys are looking forward to those video, that video coming out, make sure you are have that bell icon clicked so that you guys get notified when I upload that video. Um, anyways, like I said, peace for now. I'll see you guys next time.